Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, di discuss naman natin ngayon ang iba't ibang communication strategies. Ang communication strategy ay isang action or technique na ginagamit ng mga communicator para maging successful ang kanilang communication. Merong iba't ibang communication strategies. Ang mga ito ay nomination, restriction, turn-taking, topic control, topic shifting, repair, and termination. Isa-isahin natin sila. Nomination. This involves the opening establishing of the topic in the conversation. Ibig sabihin, kapag nagsimula ka ng isang topic, nomination yun. Example, hey, are you done with the assignment? Sa example na to, ang first person gusto niya makipag-usap sa second person para malaman niya kung tapos na ba si second person sa assignment. How are you doing today? In this example, kinakamusta ng first person si second person. Have you met our teacher? She is very smart. In this example naman, gustong pag-usapan ni first person ng kanilang teacher at kung gaano siya katalino. Restriction This involves limiting what the participants can contribute to the discussion. Ibig sabihin, pinagbabawalan mo yung iba na magsalita ng kung ano-anong topic na hindi mo gusto. Ito yung example natin kanina. Hey, are you done with the assignment? You may think that this is an example of nomination. However, meron ding restriction dito. Pinagbabawalan ni first person si second person na magsalita ng kung ano-ano. Ang pwede lang niyang sabihin ay ang tungkol sa kanilang assignment. Another example is, I will only entertain questions, comments, and suggestions after I finish discussing everything. Okay? Ito yung malinaw na example ng restriction. Pinagbabawalan ni first person sa second person na magtanong, magkomento, at magbigay ng suhestyon not until first person finish the discussion. Isang example din ng restriction ang madalas nating naririnig sa ating mga guro. Kagaya ng stop talking at quiet. Restriction yan. Turn taking. This refers to the process in which a participant stops speaking and yields the floor to another participant so that he or she can speak. Ibig sabihin, nagbibigay ka ng chance sa ibang tao para makapagsalita. Example, <laughs> that's all I know. How about you, James? What do you know about her? Well, they said she drinks coffee without sugar, but I don't think that's a big deal anyway. What about you, Dom? What can you say? Sa example naman na to, ang una nagsalita is the first person, si person number one. Binigyan niya ng chance sa person number two na magbigay ng kanyang komento o magbigay ng kanyang ideya. Pagkatapos nun, sa person number two naman ang nagbigay ng chance kay person number three para magsalita. Ito ay turn-taking. Topic control. This occurs when the main or assigned speaker manipulates a discussion in order to maintain its flow without moving away from or changing the topic. Ibig sabihin, as a speaker, hindi mo hinahayaang mag-iba yung topic. Example, going back to our topic, as I was saying, let's talk about that later. Tsaka ito, huwag mong baguhin ang usapan pari. So, lahat ng ito, lahat ng mga statement na ito ay pwede mong gamitin para bumalik sa topic na gusto mong pag-usapan nyo kung meron mang ibang taong binabago yung topic. Example din ng topic control, ang mga statement na go ahead, continue with what you're saying, uh-huh, 
yun yung mga statement na kahit hindi ikaw ang main speaker, gumagamit ka pa rin ng topic control. Sa paggamit ng mga statement na yun, binibigyan mo ng karapatan ng ibang tao na magpatuloy sa kanilang pagsasalita. Kahit sila ang nagsasalita, ikaw pa rin ang may control ng discussion kasi ikaw ang naging dahilan kung bakit sila nagsasalita. Topic control. Topic shifting. This occurs when one intentionally or unintentionally changes the direction of the flow of ideas in a conversation. Merong dalawang paraan ng pag-shift ng topic. Number one, speaking topically. When the listener concentrates on some phrases from the last statement mentioned by the speaker. Ito yung example. Her joke was so funny I forgot what I was about to say. So, what was that you were about to say? In this example, si person number one ay nagsasalita tungkol sa isang babae na nakakatawa, sa sobrang nakakatawa, nakalimutan niya yung sasabihin niya. Si person number two, instead of asking about the person, he asked about what the first person was about to say. Change topic yon. From the funny person, papunta sa dapat na sasabihin ng first person. Yun yung speaking topically. Second way, speaking on the topic. When the listener concentrates on a word but the newly introduced idea may not be related to the context of the topic. Example, her joke was so funny I forgot what I was about to say. That reminds me of my friend Justin. He was the best joker in the neighborhood. Ito ay malino na change topic. Sa person number one ay nagsalita about sa isang babae na funny. Pero si person number two, since na-mention yung word na funny, inintroduce niya si Justin na kanyang friend kung saan he was the best joker in the neighborhood. Yun ay isang example ng speaking on the topic. Still, under the topic shifting. Repair. This refers to the act of fixing the violations in a communication situation. Gagamitin mo ang repair kapag nangyari ang mga ito. Number one, grabbing the floor. Ibig sabihin lang nito ay interruption. May isang tao nagsasalita at ininterrupt siya ng isa pang tao. Yun yung grabbing the floor. Number two, overlapping. Speakers talking simultaneously wherein they cannot understand each other anymore. Violation yun. Third, hugging the floor. Speaker talks continuously na hindi na niya binigyan ng chance ng ibang taong mag- magsalita. Number four, being silent. Ibig sabihin, walang may gustong magsalita. Number five, trouble in speaking, hearing, or understanding. Nagkakaroon ng problema sa pagsasalita. Pwedeng you're having trouble pronouncing a word or you forgot the word. Sa hearing naman, maybe you cannot hear the person properly because of barrier or because of how he speaks. Understanding, hindi mo naiintindihan ang sinasabi niya kay malina o hindi ang pagkakasabi. So those are the violations wherein you can employ repair to fix them. Example. I apologize for the interruption. Continue talking, please. So ang, vali- ang, ang violation na inaayos nito ay ang grabbing the floor. Hey, we must speak one at a time. Ang violation naman na rin na nire-repair nito ay ang overlapping. Kung saan, dalawa or higit pa na speaker ang nagsasalita at the same time. Excuse me, I think it's Jesse's turn to speak now. Ito naman ay repair para sa hugging the floor. Ibig sabihin, may isang taong salita ng salita na nawala na ng chance yung ibang tao na mag-share naman ng ideas nila. 
when nobody wants to speak. So, kung wala doon nagsasalita, pwede mong sabihin to. Does anybody have an idea about the topic? So, ito yung repair na pwede mong gamitin para maayos ang violation kung saan merong problema sa speaking, hearing, or understanding. Termination. This refers to the act of ending a conversation. Pag gusto mo nang tapusin ang inyong pag-uusap, pwede kang magsabi ng goodbye, see you later, or I need to go now, I'm sorry. Nice chatting with you. Ayan ang termination. So that's gonna be all for today's video. I hope you learned something from me. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, do not forget to subscribe. And also click the bell button to stay notified.